okay, the volume of a spherical balloon is increasing at a constant rate. cubic centimeter per second. How fast is the uh, the balloon's radius? Increasing uh, when its diameter is 50 uh, centimeter. Okay. So how we solve something like that? Um, a little picture here. Okay, so this is the balloon, and what happens is as we pump air into the balloon, the balloon is increasing equally into all directions, like so. Okay. It's not exploding, it's increasing, and at one point, the radius, well, let's say this is the radius, is 25 centimeter. We know that the rate uh, is constant rate. So what's given? Again, well, let's follow Polya's uh, way of solving problem is we have the text, we read it, we try to understand, we draw a little sketch and we say the following. This is what we know. First of all, we know that the balloon, the, the volume of the sphere, because the balloon is, has a spherical shape, shape, so the volume of a sphere as a function of the radius is given by V, again, as a function of R, will be 4 over 3 pi R cubed, in case you forgot. I think we, we yes, volume of, uh, of a sphere is something that you expect to know. Is it, it's the same as the area of the circle. It's one of, those, one of those things that an educated person has to know, and a college educated person has to know. Yeah. Base times the height. Yes, you expect to know that. Bless you. Here's what also given. The rate of uh, the balloon is increasing at a constant rate. So what is the rate? The rate of the volume in time is 100 centimeter cubic centimeter per second. This is given. It's positive because the balloon is increasing. Okay? Also, we know that at one point, the diameter D equals 25 centimeter. So we know right away that R, at this point, the radius should be half of it, right? So 12.5 centimeter. I'm sorry? The diameter is 50, so the radius, I'm sorry, you're right. The diameter is 50. And the radius is 35. My, my brain is working really in a weird way today. Okay, so the diameter is 50, the radius is one half. Um, so what else do we need to know? That's, that, what else is given to us? This is what's given. What we need to find is dr dt. We want to know how fast the radius is changing. Okay. And we anticipate here a positive change because we know that if the balloon is increasing, the diameter is increasing, so is the radius. So what do we, how are we going to tie these two up? Well, first of all, 
by the chain rule, we have the following. dv dt will be dv dr times dr dt. Now, look at this expression. Okay? dv dt, we know, we know dv dr from the function and we don't know dv dr dt. Here we need to write a little note to explain how we obtain this result. Well, we know that v of t it's really a composition. The volume as a function of time is the composition V of R of T. Like so. See this is this is the function as this is the volume as a function of the radius, but the radius itself is changing, so the radius is volume of time. We can also write it as V composition R of T. And since we have a composition, then we know that the derivative of a composition is obtained by the chain rule. That's why we're using the chain rule. Again, the only quantity that is unknown is dr dt. So let's work on this chain rule business. Okay? And that will be on the next page. We're going to say the following, since V of R is 4 over 3 pi R cube, then dV dr is 4 pi R squared. Do you know what this result? 4 pi R squared? I know, in addition, physically, what, what, what it says? What? What does it tell you? Oh, what is it, is this equal to? Well, it's the area of the circle. It's the area of the slide. It's the area of the surface. Of the, it's, a, it's the surface area of the, sur, of the sphere. It's interesting, and I point out already a couple of times, but if you take the, the, the area, pi r squared, and you take the derivative of the area, area, you get 2 pi r, which is the circumference. Well, you have similar relation between the volume of the sphere. You take the volume of the sphere, you get the, uh, the surface area of the sphere. Okay, so you may want to write here as a note, okay, dv, dv dr equals 4 pi r squared equals the surface area of the sphere. Anyway, this is 4 pi r squared, okay? So we have dv dr. Now, what is, uh, we, we are after the r dt, right? So we're going to say that uh, now, dv dr uh, dt equals dv dr times dr dt. We're going to write it as 100 equals dr, dv dr would be 4 pi r squared or 25 squared times dr dt. And therefore, dr dt equals 100 divided by 4 pi times 25 squared, okay? But 4 times pi is 100 as well. So you end up having 1 over 25 pi. Okay? And this would be centimeter per second. Sorry? 4 times 25 is 100, but you have 25 squared. So 100 and 4 times 25 cancel, and what's your left and the denominator is 25 pi. Just a little mental calculation.
got it, JT? Good. Anybody else has a question? No? We're good to go, folks? Look at it before I move over to another one.